Hello everybody and welcome to Slay the Spire, playing as the Defect on Ascension 9. This is Act 3 versus the Awakened One. Uh, it's been a very good run, I would say. Got Rebound, Claw, and Hologram was our first three adds, so we were Claw deck right away. Glacier for defense, second Claw. Some draw, um, seek to pick up whatever engine piece we didn't have. Uh, zero cost attack to help satisfy the Kunai. In Act 2, we picked up Defrag, Capacitor, Electrodynamics, and Chill Plus, so that was a huge boon there. Uh, after we had the Claw Engine established, now we can do Orb stuff at the same time, which is this class's strength, basically. Our Relic Selection is pretty darn good. The Runic Pyramid helps make sure that as we get rolling, we're only regurgitating the stuff that is going to scale for us. A little extra energy there. The Kunai uh, scaling... The Claw does the scaling damage, and I'll do the scaling block. We got Orb Inserter, so that'll complement all the Orb stuff we just kind of picked up at the end there. Uh, two of the the two most important of the ship stuff, pretty good, Centennial Puzzle. It's a good way to wipe artifact and or get started, and we also have a Darkness Orb and some healing. So yeah, very good run thus far. Um, we do need to hit the Burning Elite, so let's start there. Yeah, could have four hallway fights into Elite and then heal, or we could do three hallway fights. Heal, campfire, heal. I don't really need that much healing. Afterwards, it's pretty smooth sailing. Okay. We'll start here. Okay. Defrag for sure. Boom, boom. Where does that leave us with? This would give us more than enough block. Of course, this would also... And since we have the Runic Pyramid, we don't have to play this now. So I'll play this just because we have the energy to spend on it right now. Orb Inserter just went off. There's Alrighty. So we already have all the block that we need. We, do, we can kind of ignore that. If we do this... And this, now dual cast, I'll hit the Shadow Orb. And then we can just go ahead and play this, because why not? It's not going to be a better time for it. Pile Driver, that's one. There we go. Two, three... And we don't have nearly enough block, so let's just end the fight instead. Interesting. Recycle would help us thin the deck out as we go, in lieu of actual card removes. Because we kind of already have everything we need to get started as far as block by way of Frost Orb. And to me, that's the dream when you're playing a defect. If you can get to that point, because then you can just get rid of all these cards. And Recycle helps us do that. On the other hand, Compile Driver would give us more draw. We already have some. But we do make that draw a little more powerful with the Runic Pyramid, and also we would with Recycle. So I think I want to try the Recycle here. I think either one's a decent choice. Or we could just go this way, take our two hallway fights. That's interesting. <coughs> Oof, we are not prepared for that. I don't know that I've if I've ever hit that event and been ready for it. Let's try to get the double healing. We have more than 300 gold, so if there's nothing good at the first one, we can just like, skip it. Um. Six. 
seek for electrodynamics and defrag or electrodynamics and capacitor. The electrodynamics adds two and then chill would add three which capacitor would fully absorb. So each lightning orb would be less potent but we would be able to keep them all on board for longer. I'm not sure which is the better play. I think I want to go with the capacitor though. So we'll do that. We'll do that and then that. So we do need to do this. And then we can go ahead and just put this on the one with the most health. And that happens to be the one who's also putting up armor, which would be another factor to choose that one over the other two, I think. So now we still want to play defrag, but I think... Oh, did I actually take damage? Okay, well that's actually a good thing with this. And we are aiming for a couple of... Uh, this just basically thins the deck. We can upgrade the recycle. Obviously this goes here. So there's one... Um, maybe I should have put it in to one of these. Yeah, maybe that would have been better. Uh, we'll see what we got here. Plenty of block. We're not ready for the death blow, so yeah, I think we just hold on to everything we got here. We are post-puzzle, so we don't have to worry about choking out our hand. I'd like to find that defrag, though. There it is. There it is. All right. So, this might be a good time to glacier. Yeah, I'm probably gonna lose the dark orb here. But that's okay. Best we could do for block for now. Could have taken a route that involved hologram, but we are doing the double shop thing, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay. Probably just have lethal here some way. Yeah, as soon as we do this, we have 20 AoE, and that's exactly what we need. So I'll just think about that. Keep it simple. Cold Snap. Attack Base Frost Orb. Um, on the Electrodynamics fights, obviously I think it could easily be said that we don't have enough Lightning Orbs. But that's kind of okay, right? Because we have scaling damage as it is. This is just to help. Um, usually as the run goes on as defect, you find yourself saying more and more, I wish I had more Frost Orbs. So I, I think I will take the Cold Snap. We didn't really take a whole lot of damage that fight, so the double healing might end up being not even something that we need. Alright, so this is an interesting start. Uh, 14, we could do this for the equivalent of 30. Help us get started anyways. This is an interesting fight because our scaling damage doesn't help that much. Or, I suppose I should say, it doesn't help fast enough. So I think we need to seek for Glacier and uh, go for the eyes. Um, glacier and Defrag, would that be better? Probably. Probably. Um, I shouldn't say better. I think it's... Whoops, I meant to recycle the defend. Ugh! I hate that I missed that because now we're going to overdraw and... Yeah, I even told myself to do that first. Okie dokie. Alright, so before anything else, let's just do this. Get it out of the way. Do we already have a claw here? I do. So we say one... Two, three. Alright, not 
not sure where that leaves us, but it's probably pretty close. Especially in the double store meal ticket paradigm. Hey, we in fact do have full blocks, so that's good. And we currently have three different orb types, so our compile driver is that much more potent. Which allows us to say... Claw, single claw, do we then compile driver now? So that way if we do find a rebound... Nah. Let's run the risk, quote unquote, of redrawing the claws, which we did in fact do. He is now weakened for the remainder of this fight. One more gets us that. There we go. It's a good place to be. Um, uh, there's no sense in saving the anything, actually. This is uh, basically the last turn we need to be all that concerned. Hey, hey, hey. Boom, boom, ba boom, boom. And we can just do orb stuff, right? Probably. Yep. Good enough, I'm sure. Yep. Alright, so it took a little bit of damage, but it's within tolerance. Oops. Is Blessing of the Forge more important than what we have? No. Actually, in general, I would say our potion selection is not particularly impressive. These are all pluses. And you see how many orb slots we just have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And that was within 5 turns. So this could actually be potent. Um, but we, I don't think we need it, right? It's just one more card to get in the way as we regurgitate with the... And we're already at the point of recycling block, which obviously leap and stack are not block, or defend. So we could stand to take one of those. I don't think we need to, though. Let's just skip. Whoop. Oh, yeah, and the potion. Right, right, right. Okay, so there's some healing. What do we get here? <clears throat> don't think we need another capacitor. So let's remove the final strike now, and I think overclock would be helpful some of the time. Alright, we got still got a good amount of gold for the next shop. Alright, so what would we upgrade here? Recycle. Make it cost zero, so it's actually a gain as we draw it. Okay, next shop. What do we got here? Consume. Absolutely essential when you have the inserter. You literally have infinite focus potential. Um, both of these would be nice, but I don't think we need it. This is basically four block per turn, which this will contribute way more than that. And this, so what? It's nice to have, but right now, consume would be absolute clutch because we have the orb inserter. Um, let's go ahead and remove a defend. And FTL would basically be a freebie to help with the kunai. Beam cell would be a form of acceleration we don't need. So I think the FTL is the better play. Oh wow, and we are at exactly zero gold. So those purchases were our density. Defrag capacitor on top of the morning. Right, where does that leave us? We need 13 block. We'll do it this way, kind of like we did before, because we have the energy to spare. And now we've maximized slow. Go from there. I suppose we could have played Chelverge just for the extra slow, but for a single attack, doesn't seem all that particularly useful. Okay, this is basically a free turn. Let's go ahead and overclock here. FTL. Recycle the defend. Uh, we can go ahead and start putting down some orbs. Uh, now that we have the slots, let's go ahead and do that. His burning feature is healing seven every turn. Well, I usually try to draw attention to that. Hey, look at that. We actually had something to artifact against. 
consume is very good. It's all the block we need. However, we do want to scale our claws whenever possible. Didn't quite make the kunai that turn though, but with the consume, I'm not sure how much of a problem it's going to be. Now we get another orb slot. Very good. Seek. We are absolutely empty. So, let us throw this out so it gets recycled as we shuffle our deck to draw three. That's our second attack. Hey, look at that. FTL still alive. Very good. Okay. So now we can seek what? Recycle and claw. Seems good. Go ahead and throw that out just because we can. And then we will... One... Two... Three... We have more than enough block. So let's do that. And that. And now we can kind of just... Court this Dark Orb to our heart's content. On a fight like this where there's healing and it's going to be a long-winded fight, we could totally just pocket all of our orb cards. Okay, so overclock will force a deck to shuffle. Do we consume first? Maybe we don't consume at all. It would give us another six block right now, which brings us very close to our target. Yeah, I don't think we need to reshuffle it. We can do it after the fact. I was only considering it for the slow f aspect of things. Alright. So let's go ahead and do this now. And now we can Glacier. If we consume Zap, what does that give us? 9 and 21. That's not good enough. So yeah, we'll do this. Do we zap as well? Sure. We don't need the burst block now, but I think our orb selection favoring lightning right now is okay. Extra slot with consume in hand. Pretty easy. Oh, I should have done this, actually. <laughs> yeah, doing the burn would have been better. Oops. Oopsie. Okay, so we can say one, two, three. And then consume cold snap. Should be more than enough block. Even with the burn. Indeed. We are empty-handed, for better or worse. Hey, but we get some card draw. Lots of card draw in this hand, actually. Um, I'm going to draw two. That's good. Rebound. I was happy to see that. Just want that. Let's definitely get Zap in the mix as we overclock and shuffle the deck. Or why didn't that shuffle the deck? Oh, draw two. I guess I'm used to overclock plus. Alright, that's fine, I suppose. Uh, 11, 24, 30, not good enough. So we'll go ahead and do this. And this fight's pretty much over. We should definitely be able to kill him next turn. Hey, hey, hey. Nice. And you can see we didn't even puzzle there, so very good. Not at all pleased to see that relic, but whatever. Power Potion is probably better than... I'll say this one, just because this one at least has lasting effects throughout the fight. Whereas that potion truly is just one turn only. Another FTL... 
I'm gonna say no, because with Compile Driver and Overclock, it's entirely possible that we draw into a, another FTL when we can't draw off of it. And we don't need the Kunai buffing. Uh, reinforced Body is an option. But I think we're kind of at that sweet spot of... Well, actually, with the Runic Pyramid, maybe Reinforced Body is something, because we just pocket it until we need it kind of thing. I think we're going to be fine, though, to be honest with you. Let's see what we got here. Toy Ornithopter, okay. More healing, which we don't actually need right now. But perhaps later we will. All right, let us... I'm going to go ahead and do consume. I'm fully aware of the fact that we need to grab the key yet, and there's only one option left. But this deck is in really great shape, so I'm just going to go ahead and get this out of the way. <clears throat> this will help us with whatever this is. And it is... It is the where is my electrodynamics lady. some of this so that when we compile driver we draw three yes found it so good so good so we can do this and the frost orbs aren't even going to matter here uh we'll do darn let's go ahead and get this shadow orb out of the way oh wait the shadow orb is going to come here right yeah okay Alright, we can do this. You know what? Cause since it cost zero, I should have held on to it. Because now our kunai... Alright, I'm kind of teaching myself as I go here. And then we'll just go ahead and do this so that when the next dagger's created, we have maximum frost orb. Or, uh, lightning orb. Because now, end of our turn. Like, any dagger she summons, like, in this configuration is just going to be... So let's do... That. 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 So two. Perfect block. Very nice. I wish I could take credit for planning that out perfectly, but I was convinced I wasn't going to be able to achieve enough block. Definitely need to upgrade that overclock at some point. Um, I guess I'll just throw the rebound out there. <laughs> nah. Nah. This is fine. Now our orbs are set up to where we might be able to kill daggers off in a single turn. Whew, look at this. Save that, actually. Two, three, recycle, defend, just to get it out of there. Might as well overclock. Nice. Seems good. This fight is over. And we are still at full health. That's hilarious. This deck is very... Oh my gosh. You guys correct me if I'm wrong, but if you're doing a heart run, this is the best thing you could pick up along the way. If I'm mistaken, let me know about it, please. But that's my opinion. Um, as far as draw versus energy, I think we're pretty balanced out. Um, because the recycle does trim the deck down, I could see the argument for more card draw. Um... 
The fact that overclock is not plus yet is kind of a problem, and that same problem would also be present with skim. I prefer the attack based draw when we got the kunai. I could see that being an option. I could see Static Discharge Plus being a thing like during the heart when he's attacking like 15 times. If we do get hit, like we'll start popping off some of the frost orbs to protect us for subsequent hits. We don't... I mean, this is going to be our last true AoE fight. So I don't think we necessarily need it in terms of like supporting electrodynamics. That is a tough call. If I took this, it would literally be for just the heart fight. Actually, since we're fighting the Awakened one, let's just skip the power. It's not... I don't think it's mission critical. It definitely would have some benefit, though. No question. Core Surge right away versus this guy seems good. So we do bang, 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 bang. 13, so this is actually full since we have the defrag down. All of our cards, all of our energy. Pretty good turn one, I would say. One, two, three. And we have plenty of blocks, so let's let it ride. I am starting to notice how dual cast is like not serving a purpose in our deck, so I think as we recycle, recycle, that maybe dual cast as a card we end up taking away. So, with four energy, I think seeking for consume and claw is good. Of course, then we keep ourselves from being able to have a claw when rebound comes into hand. Um, so let's do this, and so now we have five energy to work with, which means we can do, say, consume and compile. No, we wouldn't compile our cold snap, I guess. Why not? something we can spend energy on this turn. So consume, cold snap just to alternate them. There we go. And we already have the artifact up so we don't need to drink the potion. Because this is a pretty... I wouldn't say nasty debuff. I mean, once you get going as defect, you can pretty much just have the free block. But if we do uh, thwart that debuff, then we can have a configuration like this where we have more lightning orbs. So this is an awesome configuration. We can say one, two. So now when we say that, we draw it right back. Oops, we are out of this. That's okay. Second kunai value. We don't have quite enough block. So that just means we're going to get centennial puzzle value, which is a little unfortunate because we're going to be a little hand choked here. And this fight is over. Bang. Fairy in a bottle. We have core surge. I don't think this is very important. Second barrage plus offering. Don't think we need it though. And I don't think stack is what we need either. Oh, surprise shop. Not good. Not good. Nope. Okay. Nice. Uh, defrag plus? Yeah, I think it's defrag plus. Alright, now we have to take the key, and here we go, Awakened One. Interesting first turn. Lots and lots of Frost Orb opportunities. So let's do the paid ones first.
And I think until Electrodynamics is up, we should start shipping these guys. I am going to do the one with the most health first. So let's see, that's exactly 23. So we can hold the chill. Yeah, we can hold the chill. He dabbed. He definitely has to go down first. Wow. I think I'm going to use the second seek for a defend. That way I can do this. Whoops. That might have been a mistake. This is fine. Definitely enough block now. Alright. So he's two turns away from being dead passively. He's already done for. Consume. That'd be very good. And then we zap. So really, we only need to block 42. Actually, no, because this now kills him. So we need to block 32. We have 21, 31, <clears throat> which is perfect for the puzzle. So if at all possible, we should go ahead and just ignore... Although the puzzle chokes us. So it's not particularly beneficial, but... Whatever. It's probably going to get popped eventually anyways. Oh, wait, it didn't get popped, because Tungsten Rod. Nice. That's even better, I think. Okay, let's definitely do this. And that. Two. Three. Oh, crap. I did not rebound. I should have. Oopsie. That's good use of that. I'll go ahead and do this. Yep, I meant to rebound Claw. Luckily, we... Uh, can rebound claw FTL next turn. Because FTL will still be active at that point. Okay. So one, two, three. There we go. Let's go ahead and do this. Because we're about to reshuffle. Go ahead and do that. Two. Uh, let's save FTL for next turn, because we can do three and get the kunai value. And where does that leave us? More than enough block. So, yes. We'll do that. Yeah, that recycle adds, like, a noose effect to the deck, which only ramps these up that much quicker. Okay, so let's see here. We save one... Um, I think I'm still going to recycle the burn so we can consume Hologram Rebound this turn. Two. Three. And if we do this, we do not get the opportunity for second kunai. Always doing that. Yeah, I'll go ahead and do this. It ramps up our claw more, and it's, we can totally stomach the burn. And as I think we're kind of like all out of defense at this point, so the recycle can just go towards burns anyways. <laughs> we're putting them there ourselves. That's the funny thing. Nice.
<clears throat> there we go. We'll just let it ride. Forty-five passive block. Ooh, he says, haha, not quite enough. And that's okay. Nice. Two. We do this for sure. Um I think we always want to draw at this point. Keep moving things forward. The rats. Well, let's do this. Oops, I should have zapped first. That's fine. Or maybe not. Maybe now we just need to be a claw purity deck where reshuffling zap isn't particularly helpful. to consume. Yeah. We got this big time. Big time. Oh my gosh. We are smoking them on all fronts. This deck is the master of ramp. Ended up with 9 dexterity and 16 focus. Very, very nice. Well, that's going to do it for Act 3. I want to thank you guys very much for joining me. I do hope it was enjoyable for you. Please let me know all about it in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the final act. Take care.